Hi, Paul here from Trek It, with Harry as usual behind the camera. And today we've come out on what is actually a gloriously warm, beautiful late summer day to talk to you about the new, revised and updated Arcterex Atom AR hoodie. We are perched on top of Croft Ambre on the edge of Birchard Common with a fine vista of the Shropshire Hills, the Black Mountains, and we can just about make out the Brecon Beacons in the distance. And you're probably wondering why I'm stood here in a very warm insulated jacket on a beautifully sunny day. If you could see Harry, he stood there in a lightweight base layer and I'm stood here sweltering in this insulated jacket. Well, we just had to come out and tell you about these because they've just arrived into our stock. These are the new revised and updated for autumn winter 2020 Arcterex Atom AR and we're just so excited to tell you about it so we've had to come out and I'm going to stand here and get sweaty. So uh, stay tuned to the end of the video you'll know all about the new revisions, the updates, the fabrics, the techie bits, how I feel about the jacket etc etc. So yeah stay tuned right to the end and uh, look forward to seeing you then. Okay so before I start prattling on about all the techie stuff don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you hit the little bell icon you'll get notifications as soon as we post any new videos. So what is the Arcterex Atom AR hoodie? The Atom AR is the warmest jacket in the Atom range and uh, it's very warm. I'm really warm. I've just got a t-shirt on under here uh, and it is exceptionally warm. It's lightweight, it's very warm, it's compressible, it's highly weather resistant, it's highly breathable, it's a beautiful thing uh, and you can use it for just about any cold weather mountain activity. Uh, it works really well as a belay jacket uh, or you can just use it as an everyday warm and weather resistant winter coat. So what's the Atom AR hoodie made from? Well, let's get down to the nitty gritty and break it down and look at each component part. Uh, let's start with the insulation. It's the bit that obviously provides the warmth. And for this season, Arcterex are using their own Corloft Compact insulation. A Corloft Compact gets its name because Arcterex have rather cleverly devised a way to reduce the overall bulk of the, fab of the insulation by about 50% without drastically reducing its thermal ca capacity or capabilities. So it's less bulky, but just as warm. Uh, each, uh, each of the fibers within the core loft, so they're little polyester fibers, it's a synthetic insulation. Each of those fibers is crimped, spiralized if you like, and they use different densities to provide springiness and loft. So the fabric resists uh, compression from shoulder, straps on rucksacks and hip belts, also from being stuffed into a stuff bag in your rucksack and getting out, putting in, getting out, putting in. It resists that for many, many times. So the insulation retains much of its, uh, well, virtually all of its thermal insulation for the life of the garment. It's a very sophisticated material uh, and it's perfectly suited for cold, damp conditions. Each of the fibers is also siliconized so it's given a kind of a water repellent treatment, if you like, which is one of the big advantages of synthetic insulation over natural down insulation. It will still retain most of its warmth, even when wet. And that extra silicon treatment to the fibers helps to reduce moisture, moisture buildup even more. So if you're sweating heavily, which I'm about to in this beautiful sunshine, or if it's raining hard and a bit of moisture is getting through the jacket, the filling on the inside doesn't absorb it and it allows the jacket to continue to breathe and to insulate in those damp, nasty conditions. So to reduce bulk and to maximize performance even further, Arcterex have used three different weights in the Atom AR of that Corloft compact insulation. Uh, it's a very clever way of zoning the temperature within the jacket because you don't necessarily need the same weight throughout the jacket. Your main organs, the main part of your body that needs to be kept warm in cold conditions is the trunk of the body. It's where your major organs are. So Arcterex have placed 100 gram per square meter call off compact in that area. So through the chest, through the core of the body and through the back. And then in the arms, you've got 80 gram per square meter call off compact insulation. 
just to reduce the bulk, allow more freedom of movement without dramatically affecting the overall insulation of the jacket. And then up top in the hood, you've got 60 grams. Uh, the assumption is you're going to be wearing a beanie in cold weather or have a hat on. Uh, if you haven't, there's enough insulation there to provide protection for your head, again, without being too bulky and too heavy. So that's all designed to optimize the performance, minimize the bulk, and also helping with the breathability, because obviously areas around the arms and the underarms here where you've got less insulation, you've got better breathability. On the outside of the Atom AR hoodie, protecting all that lovely insulation is uh, one of the first revisions for the Atom AR. They're now using their own, when I say they, I mean Arcteryx, are now using their own Tayono 30D fabric. It's, it's a beefier fabric than the old Atom AR. It's got a, it's kind of, kind of got like a, a dry feel to it, a matte finish to it. So it's slightly less shiny uh, and it feels substantially better than the previous versions of the Atom AR. It's also tougher and more durable. It has an air permeability to the fabric, so it allows a little bit of uh, air to move through, which helps with breathability, moisture control, and temperature management. The fabric itself is pretty wind resistant. It's also highly weather resistant, thanks to a DWR treatment, which is applied to the outside. Now that just means that any rain or snow that hits the outside of the fabric just beads up and rolls off. That will diminish over time, with use and through repeated washing, uh, but can be reapplied. Use a, a Granger's or a Niquax product, give it a spray on the outside, reinstate that DWR. So major revision is the Tayono 30D, tougher, drier. You know what I mean when I say drier? It just doesn't feel quite so silky and slimy. It feels drier, a matte finish, and it's tougher, and uh, it looks nicer. It's worth pointing out, uh, at this point in the video that despite the best efforts of the DWR, the Tayono 30D fabric, the siliconized call off compact insulation and the high weather resistance of all of that construction, this Atom AR is not 100% waterproof. Having said that, in my own pr practical and personal experience of using Atom products, you do have to try pretty hard to get wet in one of these things uh, and in all intents and purposes it's highly weather resistant but you do not get a 100 percent guaranteed waterproof with this jacket another new revision for the atom ar is the new lining fabric it's the dope perm air 20d so a lightweight nylon which is as the name implies perm air it is a air permeable fabric it's highly highly breathable feels fantastic next to the skin like i said i'm getting a bit clammy in here i've just got a t-shirt on underneath it feels really comfortable next to the skin on my arms and the breathability is tangible it's noticeable it just feels more comfortable in here you don't get that kind of sticking to your sweaty arm feeling that you had with the old atom ar it's the same kind of lining fabric that um, arcteryx use in their proton products and those are designed for high output high activity use so you're getting enhanced breathability and enhanced comfort with that fabric revision for autumn winter 20. The dope in the name, dope perm air, doesn't mean it's dope. It basically means that the fabric has been dope dyed. That means that the, the fat, rather than dyeing the fabric, they dye the source material and then extrude that into a fabric. It uses far less water, far less energy. So it is uh, got an improved environmental um, thing. It's, it's more environmentally friendly. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, less water, less energy, better for the environment. Another update and revision for the uh, Autumn Winter 20 Atom AR is the use of this new perm air fabric, the same as the lining fabric under the arm, just to give that area more breathability basically and make it more comfortable and less bulky. Okay, let's go through the features. Um, although this is uh, you know, a, a good midway insulated jacket, uh, it doesn't have uh, a great fistful of features because it's still designed to be able to pack down small, uh, squash up teeny tiny in your pack if you're not using it. Um, but what you do get are all useful and keep the jacket uh, functioning properly in all conditions. So starting up at the top, you get that insulated, uh, fully adjustable hood. Now with a much improved uh, stiffened little area, a little brim over the top there to stop that flopping down over your eyes. 
its side draw cords and a volume reducer and the hood will fit easily over a climbing helmet. Just because this is designed uh, for use as a belay jacket, you're going to need to pop that over a climbing helmet. It's at the bottom of a grotty, wet, drizzly, windy belay. You're going to stay nice and snug inside here. Moving down to the main zip, you've got an ever reliable YKK zip. Now, Arcteryx used to come into a bit of stick about their zips because they designed them to be free flowing. So they're easy. If you need to get out the jacket quickly for whatever reason, we need to ventilate quickly. You can simply just pull and the zip comes apart. The problem with that was if, you had to, if you're trying to do the zip up and you're trying to stay warm inside the jacket, it would creep open. You have to keep doing it up, doing it up, doing it up. Uh, so what they did, they introduced these little things called uh, speed bumps into the zip. They uh, designed that in conjunction with Arcteric, uh, with YKK, sorry. Uh, and in about the top sort of 15 to 20 odd centimetres of the zip, there's four little stops which just position the zipper wherever you need it to be. Right at the top, a little bit down, a little bit down, a little bit down, a little bit down. And you can just adjust the zip to suit uh, whether you want more insulation up at the top or a little bit more ventilation down at the bottom. Simple but clever. Moving down, you've got two nice big hand pockets and another revision that you'll notice straight away is this improved lining on the back of the hand. It's a much more comfortable, softer trico lining inside the pocket, really comfortable and they're great big pockets, easy to swallow, beanies, gloves, Mars bars, other chocolate confectionery is available in this pocket. You also get on the left hand side an internal zip chest pocket Great place to stash your mobile phone, keep the battery nice and warm for winter use. And then down at the bottom, uh, along this laminated hem, you've got a uh, smaller cord adjuster. They've reduced the size of the cord adjuster, so you've got double-sided to make sure you can balance that out. Uh, but a much lighter, neater cord adjuster right down at the bottom to help seal the warmth in, stop cold drafts blowing up your back. Right down at the end of the sleeve, uh, Arctex have always been renowned for their really nice sublime little elasticated cuff. This has been revised for this winter so just to neaten it up a little bit and just to improve kind of that on and off ability and the ability to pull the sleeves up if you're getting hot like I am you can easily pull these up uh, and they're nice and snug around your wrist or they will stretch quite easily to accommodate gloves or mitts. Another feature worth pointing out is the, the kind of the patterning and the design that Arcteryx use. These have got articulated elbows and the patterning used in the jacket just means that it fits much better and uh, it's just put together beautifully. So how does the Atom AR hoodie fit? Well, I am very happy to announce that it is fits much better than the previous seasons. To be honest, I did struggle with the fit on the old Atom, Ata, Atom AR. It was a bit boxy, a bit short in the body, just a bit kind of big and boxy. But this new one is much, much improved. So for those of you who don't know, I'm six foot three, 42 inch chest, 34 inch waist, and I weigh about 13 and a half stone. And this is a size large, and it's much slimmer through the body and through the hips. Still plenty of room around the shoulders and in the arms for movement and for extra layering. There's still room in here. You know, it's not a, a snug, tight fit. It comes into their regular fit block, but it's a massive, massive improvement on the old Atom AR. Uh, there's still room under here for extra layers. If you're using this uh, as part of a layering system or using it as, a, as an outer jacket over layers, there's still room in here to get this over the top of a waterproof if you're using it as a belay jacket. But if you're just using it as a kind of a standalone, everyday, warm winter coat, just over some light layers, it doesn't now feel really big and boxy and uncomfortable. It's just massive improvement. Nice one, Arcteryx. Thank you. Okay, layering system. I've, I've I probably banged on about this earlier on in the video. Uh, it primarily designed as a, an outer jacket to go over the top of other layers or over the top of everything to be used as a belay jacket. Uh, but because you've got that new improved uh, breathable permair lining, uh, it would work as a mid layer, but oh goodness me, it would have to be extremely cold to warrant using this as a mid layer. Uh, it works best, like I say, as a standalone outer or as a belay jacket.
So, that's it, we've made it. The, the new Art Terex Atom AR hoodie. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. I think uh, they've done a great job, particularly with the fit uh, and with the new fabrics. The fit feels superb. The new fabrics just give it a more tougher, purposeful feel to the jacket. Uh, I'm gonna get one for this winter. Uh, my old one is gonna be uh, resigned to, I don't know, a bit of gardening probably. Uh, really, really like it. The new fit is brilliant. It is probably the best synthetic jacket in the world. That's a bold claim. Uh, but yeah, I think it would stand up there quite easily as one of the best jackets uh, for all mountain use in cold, damp, changeable conditions. It's, it's just superb. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be notified every time we post one of our videos. And if you have any comments or questions, pop them in the section below. It's always good to hear from you. I am now very much looking forward to taking this off and cooling down. So I'm gonna to say toodaloo, toodaloo. I'm a little spot just north of Hereford. What's it called? Dope Permare 20.